When 21 Pilots released Trench, everything changed. The world became a brighter place, unless you were listening to Leave the City. And we all learned about this place called Dima, but you know what no one's been talking about yet? Mathematical analyses of how Tyler Joseph changed his writing style for Trench in almost every single way. Well, lucky you, that's exactly what we're talking about today. And let's talk about Trench itself first. The shortest song is Legend at 209 words, and the longest song is Neon Gravestones at 515. That's cool, right? Interestingly too, the average word size for the whole album was five letters. Now take into consideration that the most popular rap songs over the last 40 years, their average word size is four letters, suggesting that Tyler Joseph has a larger vocabulary than the average rapper, of course. Who doesn't? The album has a huge emotional focus and uses concrete metaphors to get most of its points across. For those of you who watched my first How 21 Pilots Writes Lyrics videos, does that remind you of something? Try self-titled. Tyler wasn't kidding when he said that he was going back to elements of their first album to write Trench. Now I need to be clear, there are some things that Trench didn't change, but those things are few. The songs on Trench are about the same length as the last two albums, Joseph sings about friends and family about as often, he still includes rap just about every other song, and he has continued to sing about the songwriting process more with each album. But those are literally the only similarities. Every other topic or style metric that I measured for was flipped on its head completely. Every single one. Up until Trench, there were five topics or style elements that Tyler was using more and more of every album. References to blurry face, faith, vulnerability, the music industry, and philosophical thought. On Trench, the frequency of those topics plummeted. Blurryface's character stayed on as Nico, but actually didn't really show up that much in the song lyrics. And it doesn't surprise me, but Faith became a much less popular topic on this album, which is supposed to be a concept dive into a dark, godless world, or what I've referred to in the past as the Narnia of depression. Tyler has explained, the process I've been on for this record is the closest I've been to entertaining a world where there isn't a god. There was just bound to be less discussion of Faith. Going back to changes in topic frequency, Tyler was still vulnerable on Trench, but 73% of Blurry Face songs were very vulnerable, and only 43% of songs on Trench were. He seemed to save up his vulnerability for songs like Legend, Leave the City, or Bandito. And instead of being super Super philosophical like he was in songs like Ride, on Trench he gets a lot more emotional. Which shouldn't be a surprise since that was a hallmark of the self-titled album, the album that he's trying to get back to a little bit. And that album is way more focused on feelings and emotional processing rather than on logical approaches. So like self-titled and not really that much like Vessel or Blurry Face, Trench focuses on an emotional approach to some of the problems Tyler has been experiencing. So we added more emotion to Trench, but what else did we gain? Well, Tyler used metaphorical images to communicate his messages way more than before, neon gravestones, my blood, pet cheetah. He used this poetic device to communicate his messages more clearly and to give his audience something to visualize. Which shouldn't be surprising since Trench is a concept album and the world of Trench has been visualized for us in the music videos. But as we wrap up, do you want to know what the most dramatic change on Trench was? One topic's frequency changed hugely. On self-titled, this topic showed up 43% of the time, then it went down to 33% for Vessel, and then to 14% for Blurry Face. But on Trench, 43% of the song, self-titled levels, were about the fans. That's right. With songs like Bandito and Cut My Lip, Tyler emphasizes the importance of the fans' journeys along with his. On Bandito, he sings, either way it helps to hear these words bounce off of you. The softest echo could be enough for me to make it through. And the reality of these words for him shows up in the ethos of the concerts and of the entire album as a whole. Among all the changes on Trench, as Tyler experiments with a world away from God, he turns to his other supports. And in the case of Trench, family and friends are mentioned, but fans take the spotlight and help to define the biggest style change in Tyler's writing as an homage to where the band began. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the How to Write Lyrics Like 21 Pilots course in the description down below. You can watch this video about How 21 Pilots Writes Lyrics Part 1, and you can see this video talking about what I got right in my 21 predictions about 
trench. Hint, I, I don't actually think I got that much right. But some of my predictions were uncanny. Ugh, sorry, I don't know where that came from. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you next time.